Well, over the last two weeks, we've introduced you to two young farming families who do more than just put food on our tables. Tammy Arger now joins us with the final installment of our profiles of the Young Farmers and Ranchers Achievement Award contestants. And Tammy, this week we're going back to sugarcane country. We certainly are because, of course, that sweet crop makes for some sweet families as well. This week we head to Scott, Louisiana, where Monty and Don Rosinski have a large sugarcane operation where they keep the little things and the little ones close to their hearts. You don't have to go to the Rosinski's nearly 3,000 acre sugarcane farm to know this is a farming family. The sandbox is filled with tractors and two little boys who are destined to follow in their father's footsteps. He's already teaching them the basics. Basically, a uh, good work ethic and uh, learn how to grow a crop or grow vegetables. I mean, actually, right now, we, this is the first year we planted a garden at home to show them where food comes from, you know, because, you know, a lot of kids, you know, we got ag in the classroom, but still a lot of, a lot of kids still on the shy side don't know what's, what's, uh, where the food comes from. You know, they think Walmart does it. Look, we have a beautiful zucchini. Monty, his wife Dawn, along with Ben and Cal, tend to the backyard garden. It's small potatoes compared to Monty's sprawling cane operation, but the boys are learning where food comes from. Going fine. There are perks to not working in an office somewhere. He can bring his boys with him. His other perk is his wife helps with the business end of the operation. Dawn definitely knew what she was signing up for when she said, I do. They left the wedding on a John Deere tractor. If it wouldn't be for my wife, uh, I couldn't do it. She does all my payroll and paperwork. I mean, I call on her. When the bank calls me, needs paperwork, I, I can't stop what I'm doing, so she's the one who sees about getting that. There's always something different going on. Um, it's never a dull moment. I'm always staying busy and I like being busy so it's really, it's nice. It's a, it's a family thing too so it makes it nice that we can all do this together. Monty works closely with the local drainage board having them clean out canals and ditches. He also land levels and takes very seriously the disposing of chemicals in the proper manner. He's wanting to be a good steward of the land and be efficient. We actually work in six rows right now but uh, basically, it's, we, we do the same as pretty much every other cane farmer. We're just trying to keep things going and get everything as efficient as possible. While Monty Rosinski passes on his passion for farming to his kids, he knows they may or may not take over the family farm one day. But for him, he's living his dream. Working the ground and, I don't know, just dealing with Mother Nature and just out there and open, you know. The winner of the 2010 Young Farmers and Ranchers Achievement Award will receive a host of prizes, including a $35,000 cash credit towards the purchase of a brand new Dodge Ram pickup truck from the dealer of their choice. The nominees again are the Rosinskis, Bobby and Melissa Morris, and Clayton and Carrie Hurdle. The winner will be announced at the 88th Annual Meeting of the Louisiana Farm Bureau, which will be held June 24th through the 27th at the New Orleans Marriott. Mike? Tammy Arner, thanks. Good Thank series you. of reports. Appreciate Thank you, you helping out on Thank that. Thank you.